Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6. With almost everything in the lab supporting Wi-Fi 6 now, I've decided to upgrade my lab network to Wi-Fi 6. Now on motherboards, for example, you probably see names that have AC or AX. Those are indicators of what they support. Of course, some motherboards, you have to check the specs to see whether it's Wi-Fi 6. Regardless, AC for 802.11ac, which is Wi-Fi 5, while 802.11ax indicates Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 certainly has a greater bandwidth, supports more devices, and has better quality coverage. I'll provide the link to Totalink's X5000Rs page, of which you'll see some details on how Wi-Fi 6 benefits you. So for my setup, and for this video, I'll be using the Totalink X5000R, which is an affordable router. And before I dive into the details of my experience in switching from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6, let me give some feedback about this Totalink product. Now let's start with the product packaging. I find that for Totalink's product, it's always confusing. The AX1800 should not be the biggest, brightest. It should be the model name. At a glance, you might thought that this is a Totalink AX1800, which it is not. It is the model name here is actually the X5000 R. So I think the packaging sucks in that aspect and I hope Totalink can improve on this. Now as for the router itself, I'm quite disappointed at how it is because it only has one blue blinking light over here which does nothing. Look, I'm the type that wants my router to have information at the front. If the ports, the LAN ports are connected, there should be lights on it. If the how you say the connectivity, the Wi-Fi is on or off, whatever, there should be indicators. Look, a traffic light provides more information than this router can. A traffic light is simple, at least it has three lights. This one has only one light. It's even more difficult than communicating with aliens. I mean, I'm from a time where we have routers like say the Linksys WR. WRT54G or something like that. Those were superb. In fact, I have one called BEFSR something which is much older. Regardless, those were the days where you get routers with proper indication. Uh, I'm sure others, other brands do have that as well. Just too bad that the one on Totaling, they just skim on this symmetrical design but with no useful indication at the front which I'm totally, totally disappointed. Now, I'm the type of person who configures my own network. I used to service the government for um, their networking, network security, this kind of thing. So I know myself around. For home networks, I look for something simple yet um, at least intuitive whenever possible. I've just, I just haven't gone into getting stuff like from Ubiquiti or Microtik to for more advanced network. Regardless, this is my feedback for the Totaling X5000R. As for the interface, it's actually pretty simple, which everything is uh, actually intuitive, so I would have no complaints over there. It's actually reasonably feature rich. Now, setting up the X5000R here is very simple. I got it up and running almost on the first try, it's just that you know, there's the VPN thing. Over here, we are, I'm using the TM Unify, so you just need to enable that VLAN thing to set to Unify and it works. Now, now it even supports mesh setup, so um, Totaling had provided multiple units, so I did try to set up the mesh thing. It was set up, but somehow it wasn't actually connecting properly. So for on my side, I didn't have much time to troubleshoot because it's actually time consuming. So maybe it has to do with my IP address change. Um, local I, I usually change my IP so um, the mesh setup part did not work as what I intended so I switched it to run some other modes I switched the auxiliary unit to run repeater mode of which it turns out just fine it works just as expected I mean the initial in intention to run the mesh setup was to widen the coverage so um, because my previous router it was actually on an upper floor and far away that one had very strong signal and my this one it does not have strong signal so i use an auxiliary unit to
do expand the network and after I set it as a repeater, it works just fine. Now here's a look at the before and after speed. Going from AC to AX, my download speed is now significantly faster. However, I don't know why there's a slight drop in upload speed, but it's not a huge issue. As for file transfer speed, because I have a server, a file server on the network, previously my transfer was really slow at about 5 megabytes per second tops. Uh, bear in mind that my PC is not just far away from uh, the, the, the wireless source. I'm also using the stubby antenna, so the transfer speed isn't all that fast. However, with the change to the AX system, my transfer speed or file, large file transfer to the file server is actually five times faster, so I'm very pleased with the outcome. And note that I mentioned I'm using the stubby antenna, that's why even right now on the 100 megabits per second line, my speed is just as that, but it's satisfying enough for me. So if I were directly to, ever to run at a closer distance or direct connection to the LAN, it's actually very close, in fact almost the 100 megabits per second speed, so no issue in terms of performance. Overall, the X5000R from Totaling here works fine. I mean, I know I'm expecting a lot from it. However, it retails at just RM215, 215 Malaysian Ringgit, of which I saw at a reputable store, which is Ukas. And they have a, a pair unit, or more or less it, they sell um, in pairs as well. It means you get two units for less for RM425. And in the option, you can even request for them to help you with the setup. So overall, I'd say it's the X5000R here over is reasonable. And then it really helps me in this upgrade. Going from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 is certainly an improvement over my internet usage. I get faster download speed and more importantly for my file transfers because I make videos and I do transfer my files to the server and all that. That helps a lot with the speed. So if you have not um, gone into Wi-Fi 6, you should actually consider Wi-Fi 6 because hey, most of the motherboards now do come with AX modules, which is Wi-Fi 6 module, and definitely it will improve your experience when it comes to Wi-Fi connectivity. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in my upcoming videos and do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And bye-bye.